Hey everyone, welcome to another Reactor Tech Solution video. In this video, we're gonna provide a quick solution for a particular need. And the need is when you want to have a data table such as this visualized in your R um, coding script that could be an R markdown or any um, any simple uh, or more complex or output and coding that you want to do you have um, a specific data and essentially you want to grab some summary stats maybe from it or some information and create different tables in your report and you're using R so um, this is the code uh, that we're gonna go over um, on that and there is a step-by-step -step solution for it and also the code everything is available for you to download in description and uh, there's a link in the description where you can see in our blog where we provided more uh, relevant uh, understanding and clarification on this tutorial so what's the data that we have let's look at actually the main data that we have so this is the example of our data you have your different category in this case you it could be in your raw data or you could maybe uh, aggregate it and get some summary statistic in this case i have some categories some sectors and some financial numbers associated to different categories of each sector now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i want to a specific um, information from it i want to summarize it and provide some contextual information as some clean looking tables in my um, final report so essentially what I'm gonna do is so let's go here the first step is and this is again a R markdown um, actually our note notebook um, piece of code that I have here of course you could convert it to a simple R script as well so the first sp step is always I uh, start my codes like this and there is a related video where I explain um, what's the use and benefit of starting your OR course with this so essentially I use a pacman pilot function to both install and load the packages that I want which is the main one that you want to focus here is actually cable extra where that actually does the functionality for us so once you run this you have all the packages that you need in this case I also read my data in this case I have a simple CSV actually but however you read your data you can have a look at it overview it and essentially the next step is you want to actually come to the place where what is the snapshot and the version of the data that you want to actually grab and it could be some sub sub sample of it and you want to create this table function where we actually then visualize that table in the next step so what I'm gonna do in this case actually I want to um, create a specific um, legend ID for different sectors so as you can as you saw there is multiple factors and different sectors in this case I should create a um, legend in the and use this legend in other visuals but I create a sector ID a unique ID for different values in one of the categorical variables that I had and I'm gonna then select what columns I want to use um, to, for my final tables and of course my final table I want to get rid of the dupe duplicate so I, I uh, use the distinct um, functions in here where I actually got rid of the duplicates I, uh, I want to look at the different distinct sectors and what's the ID for them unique ID for them and of course I'm gonna arrange it as well so you have it um, um, essentially in increasing order one two three the IDs and their sectors number there you go so you, of course your need could be di slightly different but that's the table I have uh, but the key thing is here you may have some uh, duplicates in your data but maybe the table if it's a summary stat or some sort of um, contextual information or legend information in this case uh, you may want to get rid of those du duplicates and the next step the key section is actually here table is actually my um, data frame where the information exists next I use KBL uh, is the key thing I use this function and I provide what's the caption for this table as you can see the caption is here um, legend ID for sectors that's that's my table next I provide some sort of um, customization to it what would be the font that you want and also do you want this table to be uh, full width or what would be the width that you want to um, have for this uh, table and lastly what's the styling that I want to have so I want it whether you want it to be center um, 
whether you want it to be adjust uh, floated right or left depending if you have other text as well so the justification on the position and also uh, whether you want to have um, essentially uh, being condensed or not so this uh, this uh, customization give you a kind of a dense um, good uh, compressed um, shape such as this um, to your um, final output so of course if you want to see other um, version of it and uh, other customization feel free to of course um, uh, follow the information that we provide in the link where there is uh, some links available some resources available for you to see what other customization available for styling and um, different um, cable uh, capabilities that you can add on your table such as uh, this one hopefully this was useful for your need if you're interested in similar video on data tech solution please subscribe to our channel see you next video